Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this video we're going to be looking at password cracking with Medusa. Now you might be asking yourself what exactly is Medusa? Well Medusa really simply is a very very similar tool to Hydra. It is lightweight and powerful. Now that's one of the things I like about Medusa is it's it's much more of a cleaner login cracker or password cracker. All right. So the thing I like about it is it's multi-threaded which allows you to you know scan multiple hosts at one time. Now, the great thing about this is it works on many, many services. For example, uh, FTP, HTTP, MySQL, Telnet, uh, you have your SMBNT, you know, multiple services that are awesome if you're trying to crack them. Now, uh, in this video, we're going to be trying to crack the SSH port. Now, in the previous video, when we were using Hydra, I showed you how it's done the correct way. Now, uh, in order to show you that, uh, you know, tools like Hydra and Medusa work, in this video, I'm going to actually create a word list that contains the login credentials for the SSH port. Now, why am I doing this? Uh, the reason I'm doing this is I'm going to show you that indeed it can actually crack these passwords. Okay, so Medusa, as I said, is a really, really simple tool to use. It may have a lot of commands that you need to specify, but in the long run, I would prefer to use Medusa over Hydra. Now, Hydra is great for cracking, uh, you know, online portals and stuff like that for example if you integrate it with burp suite etc etc but for services like ftp uh, telnet mysql ssh it is a fantastic tool as well all right so uh, let's get started with medusa now by default it is uh, pre-installed on Kali Linux, uh, and uh, you can just launch it by typing in medusa all right so medusa and once you type it in you can see that we have the help menu here that contains all the commands that we're going to be using now by default, the commands that we're going to be using is the H, all right? This allows us to select our target host name or IP address. The next command we'll be using is we're going to specify the username, which as I said is root or MSF admin, all right? So once you crack the SSH service with Hydra, you'll find that the username and the password are both MSF admin, okay? Now, so sorry for telling you that, but it is very, very important for me to show you how Medusa works, okay? So uh, these are probably the commands you'll be using the most. So we're going to be using the H, which allows us to select our target host name or IP address, or you can actually use a file that contains target host name. So if you have just come straight from the information gathering section of the course and you gathered uh, your hosts or you added your hosts in a text document, you can scan multiple hosts, all right? So that's what I really, really enjoy here. You then have the username to test against, which we'll be using. You have the file containing usernames. Again, awesome that we have that option. You have the passwords to test, the file containing the passwords. Uh, you have your file containing combo entries, which is also quite powerful to use. Uh, the other command that we'll be using is the C command, which allows you, again, combo attacks. You then have your module, which allows you to select the module. Now, the module essentially uh, means the service or the port that you're trying to perform the attack on. So getting now to performing the attack on the SSH port on a Metasploitable 2 virtual machine. Again, we just need to get the local IP address, which is the same as the previous video, 192.168.1.102. All right, so the cracking process is slightly different now because you have to specify a few things. So before we get to the actual cracking process, as I said, instead of using the word list that comes with Kali Linux, I've created my simple word list here that contains the credentials, all right? So it explicitly contains the credentials. Now, this may not seem like a word list because it does contain the exact credentials. This will be more of a dictionary attack. But in reality, it is going to use the same technology behind using a word list where it's going to test against every combination, okay? So uh, by default, the username for the SSH port is MSF admin and the password is also MSF admin. I've just thrown uh, the rest of these uh, just to make it, you know, more authentic. OK, so that is going to be stored on my desktop. So let's get started with the attack process. All right. So to launch it, we use Medusa. Now we select our host, which is H, and that is the local IP address of the Metasploitable 2 virtual machine, which is 192.168.1.102. All right. That is the IP address. As simple as that. Now we need to select the username, which in this case, the username we're testing for against is MSF admin, like so. That is the username that we're going to be using. Now we need to select the password file, all right? And that will be specified by using the capital P command as we look at in the help menu. And now we select the directory, which in this case is on my desktop, root desktop. Now, by the way, you can use the word list that come uh, already with Kali Linux, or you can create your own if that's what you're looking for. Now, by default, I already told you I know the credentials, so it's not really a cracking process, but 
if you are performing this on a real target or on a real server or you're performing penetration testing, I would recommend that you use the word lists that come with Kali Linux. For example, the Rocky word list or the SQL map. All right. So in this case, we're just going to be using the one I created just to show you that the cracking process does work. All right. But it's going to go through it as a word list. All right. It's not going to use a dictionary attack. So root desktop and we're going to select the name of the word list, which is uh, custom word list dot txt. All right. And now we need to specify the module, which can be done by using the M. So the module is SSH. And now we specify the N command, which allows us to select the port, which in this case is port 22. That is the default port for all SSH connections. All right. So once we're done, let me just go through the command or, or the entire sequence here. So what we're saying is we are saying Medusa. So start up Medusa, initialize Medusa. Uh, we then use the H command to specify our host. Now, if you use a capital H command, you can specify a list of hosts uh, that you have saved in a TXT file. You then have your U command, which selects your username, the username you have to try against. You then have your P command that selects the word list uh, or the password or the list that contains the passwords that you want to test for against. Now you can also select a password that you want to test against and that you would use the lowercase p. You then select the module that you're going to be using, which in this case is SSH. You then have uh, the port that you're going to be using, which is port 22, which is the SSH port. All right. And once we're done, we can just hit enter and it should start the cracking process. There we are. Just give it a few seconds. Now, as I said, it's going to go through it as a brute force and it's going to use it as a word list attack. And as you can see, by default, it went through all of them, the combinations that it could go through. And uh, there we are. Username is MSF admin and the password is MSF admin. All right. So that was how to use Medusa for password cracking. More specifically, we were cracking the SSH service. And as you can see, we got the default username and password, uh, which is fantastic. All right, that is going to be a wrap for section six, where we looked at password cracking. Now let's look at a summary of what we learned in this section. All right, so the first thing we looked at was how to generate custom word lists with crunch. And we also learned the default directory for the word lists that already come with Kali Linux, which are already powerful as they are. All right, we then moved on uh, to password cracking with John the Ripper, where we looked at uh, cracking Linux passwords. And then we moved on to cracking uh, archived passwords uh, or encrypted file passwords like a zip file or a RAR file. All right, we then moved on to password cracking with Hydra, where we looked at cracking uh, at the SSH login on Metasploitable 2. And finally, we moved on to password cracking with Medusa, where we also looked at how to crack the SSH uh, port login with, again, port login. This time, we used a custom word list and a uh, default username uh, to achieve the cracking process. All right, so that is going to be it for this section. In the next section, we'll be looking at network sniffing and spoofing. So I'll see you in the next section.